I slept in my car and it was a stuffy human mess, but I'm going to fix it with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up for my car because the short story is that I was actually driving across country and I was just trying to bonsai it as quickly as possible. And when I got tired, I just pulled over to a rest stop and slept. Now, one of the things that I learned there is that cars don't breathe very well. The HVAC system is really what keeps the car bearable. But when you are sleeping inside a car, it's like sleeping inside a tin can. And I just noticed that I was getting condensation from my breath exhaling on the windows. It got really stuffy. It got really humid. It was kind of unbearable. And so what I would do is I'd wake up in the middle of the night, roll down my window to let it breathe a little bit, but then I would get bugs inside the car. So it was this never ending battle of trying to crack the windows low enough so that bugs wouldn't come in, but the air would exchange a little bit. So anyway, I thought there's gotta be a better way because I'm gonna go on some road trips again. I'm actually probably gonna sleep a couple days in this car. And so I picked up this. This is actually a window shade screen that goes over your door. I'm really actually excited about trying this out because what I think it will do is it'll allow me to be in the car and basically have the windows down, but will provide some protection protection and keep out the bugs and maybe even give me a little privacy too. So let's unbag the sucker and see what we get and try it out. So this is what you get and I'm really excited about this because it's something that's really small and I can probably just keep in my car in case I ever need it or if I ever get stuck in my car or stranded or something like this. And this kind of looks and feels like just nylon mesh. It's actually very silky but the holes are very, very small, actually smaller than probably the screen door that I have on my house. And you can see how it is almost like a veil material, but it's very, very thin. And because it's nylon, I don't think you have to worry about it going to deteriorate over time like a natural fiber might. But then we have this elastic bottom here. So it's basically kind of like a big bag. And so you basically roll down your window, slip this over the whole door and then close it up. So we get this one and this one. There's also some Velcro here so that you can attach this inside the car to kind of tighten it up. But you do have two of them so you can get a little cross breeze action. So let's roll down the window on the car and see if I can put these on. All right, so I'm in the back door here. I've rolled down the window already. So this is what you're gonna wanna do. That's the whole point here. I do love the fact that the rear windows here on this Encore roll down all the way. And so what I am gonna do here now is, I don't think there's a tall side or a short side really. It kinda looks like it's the same. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scratch this over the door, just like this. Now well, it doesn't get much easier than that. These little Velcro strips are too far away for me to use them to tighten it down, but I don't even think I need to. I think the size of the door is stretchy enough. So there's a nice tight seal against the door here. So I don't have to worry about bugs climbing up underneath here. I think that's where you would use these Velcro straps to cinch it up a little bit. But now the door will close just like that. And basically I have a screen window on my car. So this is just like having the window down. The air is gonna pass through here. I don't have to worry about fogging up the windows, sleeping inside a humid, hot car. And I can put one on the other side too. So I love the fact that it comes with both of these. This is also a little bit dark. And so what I've noticed here is it kind of looks like a tinted window. So I think it'll give you a little privacy too if you're sleeping in it. People could peer inside and certainly there's a security issue here. At least you'll be inside and it won't be super clear. So it's actually a little more private than just your regular glass in many cases. So I do love this. It fits. It's not necessarily pretty, but it'll do the job and it'll turn my little Buick Encore into a mobile camper. If you ever find yourself sleeping in your car and you want to make sure that you have these screen windows to make sure that it's breathable and livable, then I would suggest picking up a set of these and just throwing them in your trunk. I'm going to be trying these out really soon and I'm pretty excited to have them. So if you want to pick them up, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda.